Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy George, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys a way to get unlimited free super coins so you guys can get your accounts ready for Rumble tier that comes out in two weeks. So without further ado, let's just get right to the content. Whoa, 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 82.6% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Go down there, hit the like button, hit the sub button. Greatly appreciated. We recently just hit 2,000 subscribers on the channel. We're now on the road to 2,400. So if we can get that done before the end of the month, that'd be absolutely incredible. And with that being said, let's get right into the content. Right then, guys, welcome back to the video. And as you guys can see, we have now loaded into WWE Supercard. And this is where the method starts. So basically, right now, we've obviously got the CM Punk promo in WWE Supercard with the collectible store. And this plays a big role in how you guys can get the unlimited free super coins in WWE Supercard. So with all the game modes we've got in the game, we've got PvP, We've got campaign, we've got RD, we've got survivors, we've got everything. So basically, utilize every game mode possible, get picks off the board, right? And then you obviously get the CM Punk collectibles. You can even get them from Daily Streak, so make sure you guys keep doing that. And then you come to the collectible store, and this is where it gets interesting. You guys can obviously also buy the collectibles from the store if you choose to. Again, this is if you if you choose, if you do buy from the store, this is where it becomes a little bit paid to win, but again, it's it's there if you want to. So basically, what you do is you get your you get your picks off the board, you get your collectibles, and then you come to collectible section here. And this is where I'm going to advise you. If you guys are in a similar situation to me, right? I'm in a luxury position. I don't need to go for any more CM Punks because I've already got a four, three of him. So the promo is done for me. I've got the card. I've got the equipment on him. It doesn't get any better than that, you know? So I've got I've got it done. But for you guys, if you guys are still chasing punk, get him done and then do this. If you guys have already got punk and you're happy with the punk you've got, then you guys can just move on to this step. And this is where it gets interesting, right? You come to collectible store and right at the bottom, you guys can see one collectible equals 20 super coins, which is OP. This is where it becomes OP. So for every five collectibles, you guys get 100 super coins. I've got two right now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to trade them in. And as you guys can see, I get 20 super coins right there. Trade another one in another 20 and just like that i've just collected or just obtained 40 super coins that didn't have beforehand and this is what i want you guys to do so obviously once you got the cm punks that you guys want whether it's a normal pro for one for two for three then whatever tokens or collectibles whatever you guys want to call them whatever however many of those you guys have got left trade them in for super coins because we all know that these cards, these PLE cards, they're in a rotation of normally in like a 30 day rotation, give or take, depending on how close the PLEs are to each other, you know? And these cards, especially for a new tier, if we were to get another female card soon, because obviously that resets after Rumble, which is the next PLE, I'm assuming there'll be a female card in there. It'll be fairly close to the start of Rumble tier. Obtain it quite easily just by doing this method. If not, you guys can stack them till you guys hit the limit. I don't actually know what the limit is for super coins. If you guys know, put it in the comment section down below. I'm assuming it's 100k, but I could be wrong. But yeah, nonetheless, just keep doing this method. Stack them super coins. We had it back in the day with Atomic Drop, where Atomic Drop, you just could play the game mode and it, there was a glitch in it if you use blue stacks where you could auto complete it and it just spat out the rewards. But with this, it's pretty much the same thing. I would just advise don't use your super coins unless you can make profit from it. So obviously for a stack of 25 picks costs 75 super coins, right? So if you can make, if you can get yourself 74 picks, which is the limit. So that's what? 225 super coins. If you can turn that into profit. Then you can do it like that and just run it as a, as a profit, as a net profit and just stack like that way. If not, then utilize every game mode in the game. Whatever game mode you play will give you picks and those picks will most likely give out collectibles as well because the drop rate on them is incredible. So yeah, I just want you guys to utilize this method Help you guys stack your, stack your super coins so you guys have got them for when the next tier comes out on the 24th. And with that being said, let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section down below. Will you guys be doing it? I know I will because like I said I've got a 4-3 punk. So I've got nothing left to go for in the promo. If you guys have found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think of this. And I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye.